Hey gearheads, this is Caleb, and I'm gonna show you how to stay warm while hunting without spending a fortune. So, I'm on the forums a lot. My wife's accused me of being addicted to hunting and that's okay, but I see this question asked quite a lot. How do I stay warm without spending a fortune and is spending more money gonna get you more performance? So that's what I wanted to answer for you guys. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna show you sort of a recipe for what I wear while I'm hunting here in North Carolina. Of course, you'll need to change and vary for your conditions, but I'll go through base layers, mid layers and outerwear and how I mix and match the two between three brands that have established themselves in the hunting community to be quality affordable gear. All right so here we've got the Nomad NWTF quarter zip and the First Light Wick 150 arrow wool pants. It's the typical base layer for me. It's got good breathing. I would wear this in the early season and accompany it with these corrugate guide pants from First Light. They have some excellent features. They're very stretchy. I wear these the majority of the hunting season for turkey, dove, deer. Pretty much the majority of the season I had these pants on. They fit well over boots. Very comfortable. They've got lots of accessories, pockets here on the side. We're going to take a closer look at these here in a second, but I really do enjoy these pants. They do have a rear pocket that is zippered. I keep my license in there in case Mr. Warden shows up. Nobody likes a ticket. So that's an early season hunting setup for me. Very stretchy, very comfortable when you're moving around the woods chasing those goblins. Here we see the cargo pockets and they're actually dual cargo pockets. There's a flap covered pocket as well as a zippered pocket. So in the flap, you put the things you need quick access to in the zippered pocket, you put the things you don't want to lose. It's a pretty simple concept. So moving on, say it's cold in the morning. I would wear this Level 4 XGO. It's a DWR treated hoodie and it fits very well, even with those layers underneath. Very stretchy, very movable. It allows me to stay warm in those cool mornings. The hood has an excellent fit. So when fully zipped up, I can rotate and see without the hood blocking my vision. It's another quick feature I want to point out of the XGO hoodie. These straps allow you to slide it under layers easily for mid-season layering. So here we've got the Nomad Harvester jacket. And you can see I've got those thumb straps allowing me to get my layers on without them bunching up. The Harvester jacket is something I'd wear for where it's 55, 40 or so, wanting to keep nice and warm. It's got the zippered front. I've still got on the level four XDO hoodie underneath with that excellent hood. The sleeves allow full range of motion for bow hunting here in North Carolina. It goes till October. So if you have some cool mornings, it helps. It also has drawstrings on the hood so that you can tighten it up and keep the wind out as well as a set of zippered hand warmer pockets. They zip very smoothly. I've been very impressed with the quality of this Nomad gear. Here inside of the jacket, you'll see it also has another set of pockets for storing gloves, mittens, hot hands, things that you don't need quick access to. And that brush fleece is very warm. And if you wanna seal out that cold, you've got dual sets of drawstrings to cinch it up around your waist. Very warm jacket. Moving up, say it's a very windy day. This is the Nomad. Integrator 2.0 Parka. It's got a set of waist pockets that are actually two chambers. So you can separate things and have a little more organization. The zipper allows you to zip it all at once or access individual pockets as needed depending on what you're going for. On the side, we've got a full hand warmer. It goes all the way across so you can actually touch your hands. Here on the side, we have zippers that allow you access to let's say you're carrying a pistol during bow season or something on your belt and you want access to it and they zip right down and they stay in place here we've got a middle pocket good for snacks calls a wind checker something you might want and here is a zipper chest pocket i like to keep my cell phone in here it's easier to access than in my pants pocket 
the hood zips all the way up covers the neck very well and you have multiple options for securing your hood you've got drawstrings as well as a set of buttons if you wanted to snap those buttons on the back I've got to use my gumby arms here to reach the zipper and so this zipper allows you to expand the jacket if you've got on multiple layers so that you can stay warm and still be comfortable as well as a slot for your tree harness strap to come out for comfort sake again that's the nomad integrator 2.0 fleece so when it gets really cold out there i go to the first light woodberry jacket it's got tapered sleeves if you choose to bow hunt that late in the season it's got hand warmer pockets that allow you to quickly put your hands in there it also has a set of drawstrings inside of the pocket so you can cinch them up without having to unzip the jacket or find those drawstrings it makes it very simple there is also zippered hand pockets for storing items like extra gloves if you wanted to keep those there a grunt tube call so i was skeptical but it holds it in place very well so you can stick your grunt tube there it's got chest lanyard attachments for other duck calls and then a chest pocket again i keep my cell phone there for ease of access this jacket is extremely warm when the weather is cold out rain out it's awesome the hood zips up well cinches down and allows you to rotate your head and have full movement it also has the tree harness slot so you can run that out easily and attach it without any discomfort while wearing your harness really a good jacket kept me warm in the sleet and the snow very impressed inside you've got mesh storage pockets for gloves maps anything you don't want exposed to the elements this side has one but it's more of a flap style and then the back of the jacket has a mesh panel for inserting a hot hand to keep you warm when it's super cold out so this jacket is really going to be the trick if you get that rare day in North Carolina of inclement weather and you want to stay warm in the sleet and the snow. It's an amazing jacket that kept me very warm. So again, base layers allow you to adjust the conditions. These are the level 4 XGO base layers. I might wear them in combination with the first light base layers you saw at the beginning of the video i just double up on them that stretchy material allows me to easily slide them on over and it's just a way to keep warm especially when you're sitting in the exposed open stands here are some more layering options for your tops this is the first light wick there's a short sleeve and a long sleeve they're made of a new material blend called arrow wool They've got ventilated pockets. Of course, you could wear this shirt early season, dove hunting. I wouldn't recommend it for turkey being short sleeve, or you can wear it in combination with some long sleeves for the colder season. Here, we've got the First Light Wick long sleeve, that same Arrow Wool 150, most of the same features, the stretchy material. The wool I thought would be uncomfortable, but it's not. It's actually quite pleasant, and you've got thumb loops to allow you to pull it on or if you don't want to wear gloves in the early season you can just stick with this I tended to wear it as an extra layer in the late season to stay warm over some of my tighter fitting layers again the same thing with this one you can wear it early season or late it's from XGO it's their level one insect shield long sleeve shirt as you'll see here the insect shield I was skeptical I laughed but it works it's kept mosquitoes off of me i was at high bar homestead and it kept the mosquitoes away i was very impressed so in the case that you do get extreme cold ice or snow here's an option these are the nomad harvester insulated pants you can see they've got that extremely thick fleece inner lining they've got a stretchable belt option they also have just a basic set of you know pockets in the front and the back no cargo pockets here so you can't carry a ton of gear on you but you do have double back pockets that are button sealed as well as your two front pockets i might have wore them once when i was hunting in the exposed area but it really takes some extreme cold to need that level of warmth if you do not wear certain types of boots like muck boots that you can't tuck depending on your boot style you can unzip these 
and either fit them over the muck boots or try to tuck them in. It just depends on your preferred hunting boots. And that is on both sides. They have a zipper and a button snap to prevent that zipper from working loose. Again, those are the Nomad Harvester insulated pants. For those worst case scenario, super cold days while hunting here in North Carolina. Doesn't happen often, but if it does, these guys will definitely help keep you warm while out there in the stand. All right, gearheads, so you've seen the different outfits, you've seen the combinations, and if you have any questions or suggestions or there's something you do different or you feel like there's something that you could share with us to help make things better, please let us know. You can check us out at Gear Report. We're on all the main social media, but please interact with us. I want to know. I love hunting and I love talking about it. And I'd love to hear what you do to stay warm so that you can be more successful and in the woods longer. If you got value out of this video, consider giving us a like, share, and a subscribe. We're on all the major social media outlets. Thanks to our patrons who continue allowing us to give you these honest, unbiased, hands-on reviews. We actually test these things. Be sure to check us out, and we appreciate you. I'll see you in the woods.